Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of this unit, as this is kind of a typical install for me. This is one I did a few years back. I was changing the filter today, but I was just kind of, when I popped up here, I was kind of reminded of, a, of it being quite a nice install, if I may say so myself. So uh, this is how, when time allows, this is how I do them. Uh, not time, but uh, circumstances more than anything. Basically when I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> Um, uh, use long radius elbows on all the condenser water piping or 45s and then good quality isolation valve Apollo is my preferred one uh, full port when you can get them uh, may not always be required but uh, I always like to use full port valves just because you're never uh, you, you can never go wrong with that I guess uh, uh, strainer on the supply side of course and uh, I like to do the, the strainer drain valve there as well and then on the return side same kind of uh, ball valve and then a uh, circuit setter this is a manually adjustable type it's just set to full open now because this building hasn't been balanced um, ever probably <laughs> um, so that's uh that's typically how I do it and then you know the braided braided lines of course and the flex connectors um, you'll note plenty of room in front of the control panel. I got this sprinkler pipe. That's a, but that's a good, almost you know, a good twenty inches at least, I'd say. And then I, uh, I do these suction line P traps on the condensate with the uh, the MIP union threading right into the connection there. And then a uh, uh, the cap you see on that first T is actually removable. So it's the clean out plug and then the vent after the trap. So that uh, that's a that form poop P trap is nice and smooth. Uh, is a lot less likely to catch debris and get clogged up, uh, even with less than stellar maintenance. And then that drops down to a sink over there. Um, this was kind. Of, I think I originally set it up to uh, drain more than one unit, but it ended up only being this one. Um, but then a, a clean out plug is never, never, a, can never hurt either. Um, you know, so that was kind of a multi use thing. If I connected another unit, I'd probably go ahead and reestablish that plug uh, at the top and just start a male adapter in there. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, there's another unit over there, not installed by me, that is a lot, not quite as nice, I'm afraid. Um, and I don't know where the condensate drains on that one. If it's so, it may we may still end up hooking one up here one day. So, yep, just wanted to show you that real quick. It's a train unit, uh, so two and a half ton, 030 as you can see there. And then, uh, so this is worth noting here. See that started up eight five thirteen. It was purchased shortly before that. And if we look at the serial number, it is a twenty thirteen unit and then needed a leak repair at, uh, just within a year uh, you know, a little bit more than a year suspiciously just more than a year actually um, and these train units I, I don't have my nut driver with me at the moment I'm just being a filter changer today so I don't really need that for anything um, but uh, they have these kind of perma schraders I don't know what you want to call them but it's kind of like a proprietary it's a quarter inch flare fitting but the Schrader core or it's not a Schrader core, it's something like that performs the function of a Schrader core, but it has a non-replaceable core. Uh, it might be, just a it's probably just something that makes it easier for them at the factory. It's like got maybe high flow or whatever, so they can charge charge the system faster, the systems faster, evacuate them faster. Who, who knows why they do it, but they do for sure. And uh, they leak, and, you, and of course you can't replace the core. So uh, I've, I've done, uh, leak repairs and it's usually right right around a just you know 14 months or so after uh, the unit has started up for the first time or 14 months or so I don't know it's it's been seemingly, seemingly but there's been at least four or five and just in this building that I've done cut those proprietary Schrader valve things out of there and just put standard uh, Schrader Schrader uh, just access ports in there so I think that's kind of interesting. Um, I like I really like these units. Other than that, but those uh, 
uh, that seems to be a little bit of a manufacturing uh, faux pas that they have there. So well, it's generated some service work for me, so I guess I can't complain too much, but um, very well designed units overall. I like them.